If you're a fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show sponsored by Easton Sports. Now the man that knows more about softball than anyone on the planet, your host, Gary Leland. Hello and welcome to the Fast Pitch TV show. If you're watching us on YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, or another video sharing site, please check out our website. It's fastpitch.tv, not .com, fastpitch.tv. It's the place to find all of our past episodes and the place to keep up with future episodes. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, Easton Sports. The truth is there is a difference. The difference is Easton. You can check out their website at eastonsoftball.com. Now, if you saw last week's show, you saw my interview with Michael Bastian. Well, this week... We have Michael back with us again, okay? I hope you enjoyed the interview last week, but this week he's back with us again, and he's going to show us how to give signals. Uh, so if you're a third base coach, or if you're always watching that third base coach, you don't understand what they're doing when they're doing all this stuff, Michael's going to explain what it is and how to do it. So sit back and watch. Hey, we're here today, and I've uh, been asked by Fast, Fast Pitch TV to talk a little bit about how I give signs and how we use visual signs um, in the game of fast pitch softball. The first thing I'd like to talk about is, in my experience is over 20 years of coaching, um, there's two basic systems that are used. There is the indicator system where you have a part of your body that you touch that's called the indicator, which tells the athlete, tells the player that this information that I'm giving to them now is important and pay attention. The other system that's used is a counting system where the coach will touch his or her body in certain places and the athlete has to count one, two, three, four, five and use a numeric system to get to a certain number that means a certain type of play in the game. Now, I'll just be honest with you, I was terrible at math and I never used the counting system because I got confused with having to count that many numbers and trying to think the game. So just to start out with the fans, I use the whole visual um, indicator system. Um, to tell you a real simple story, I started in baseball, um, like a lot of men do that end up coaching fast pitch softball or playing fast pitch softball. And I was taught by Dusty Baker, the manager of the Cincinnati Reds a long time ago, his signs that were used by the Dodgers. And come to find out, um, all throughout Major League Baseball, a lot of the signs are the same in Major League Baseball, and I still use them today. And simple signs like the shirt, across the chest, across the shirt, is the steal sign. B belt bunt, across the belt, okay, is sacrifice bunt. Um, Hit and run, okay, is flicking your legs like this, and this action is what we use for hit and run. Um, I have a real simple take sign, and this worked really well for me internationally when I worked with the Chinese. If I make a fist, that means do not swing or I punch you. So any closed fist means that we got a take on. We had a simple sign like put the two fists together, it means swing and miss on purpose, okay, and not hit the ball. So it's still a similar type of take visually with the hands being closed. Now, with all these signs, I have, again, S shirt steel, across the chest is steel, B belt bunt, hit and run here. We also have a little more information, quickie bunt, or what we call sneaky bunt for the, the fast pitch game, or a slap bunt. I actually tap and slap my head. But how we use the indicator, and uh, we use this in the World Championships and the Olympic Games, um, we have a part of the body that we touch. So I can be given a whole set of decoy signs, which I have not touched my indicator, but I'll just tell you, my ears are usually the indicator, and I just used these recently in an elite international competition. But when I touch my ears, that tells my players to pay attention, and then the sequence of signs that I do after I touch my ears is what the hot play is. So I can go through decoy signs, okay, and this means nothing, but as soon as I touch my ear, and it can be either ear or both ears, and that's one of the key points I should talk about. Sometimes we have decoy signs or fake signs or fake indicators because people try to steal signs all the time. The Japanese would videotape me hour after hour after hour trying to steal my signs because they knew that I was using a very simple set, but all I had to do was always change my indicator or make it be my right ear or my left ear. So just real simply for the, the young fans and the coaches and players out there, I have a whole set of decoy signs, but when I went to my ear or both ears, and that tells me now what's gonna be on. If I went to my ear and I went across my chest and I closed with a fist, that would be a straight still take, okay? If I went to my ears and went hot, okay, and went to a straight still and I popped my hands together, that was a straight still with a swing and a miss by the batter, okay? Or example, I can go through my signs, do my decoy signs, go to my ear, touch my chin and give the take. That means fake bunt take. Or if I just want to give them a quickie bunt where they're doing a sneaky bunt, I can go through my decoy signs that mean nothing, touch my ear and give them the quickie bunt. Okay? We always have a close, 
Now close when the signs are over is when we clap the hands. One of the key things you have to do when you're giving signs, you have to make sure your players are looking at you until you finish with the signs. If your players look at you, get the hot sign, look away and you're still giving signs, that's a real simple way for coaches to learn how to steal signs, okay? Because they know when the key point is coming. And just to share some more information, I take a lot of pride in stealing signs. Everybody knows, I think, around the world, if the kid squishes the helmet or goes to the bill of their cap or hits their, their cleats with their bat, a lot of times that means, coach, I got the sign, okay? So we try to be really, really sneaky and be intelligent that we're not giving away if we got a hot play on or if we have a play called. So a lot of it is the skill of how you give the signs, making sure your athletes know how to take the signs. But again, I use the indicator system, which I can go with the ears. I've also used my wristwatch as an indicator if I touch, touch my wristwatch to try to have different sets of indicators. I know some coaches change the indicator. Maybe the first two innings, they'll have one indicator. Then three, four, and five, they'll have a different indicator. And then the sixth and seventh inning, they'll change the indicator again. You just have to have a feel to understand if the other opponents, if the other coaches, the other team is getting an advantage by stealing your signs. So with that simple information, I tried to keep it simple. I hope that's a little bit helpful for everyone out there trying to understand how signs are used in fast pitch softball. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope you learned something from Michael there. Michael, I want to say thanks for, for helping us out there on this week's show. Hey, don't forget to check out our website. Like I said, fastpitch.tv. Become a fan of the show at facebook.com slash fastpitchtv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash fastpitchtv. Now it's time to say goodbye, so let's end it with a word from our sponsor, Easton Sports, like we normally do, and thanks for watching. This bat's great, great pop, nice in the zone, feels good on the hands. The sweet spot is pretty nice, um, it's not as small as some other bats. Even if you don't hit it exactly on it, the ball still travels as far as it's supposed to. 